Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be showing you guys what I bought for the kids for their Easter basket since Easter is only two days away. Um, so here I'm just showing you guys all the fillers that I'm going to be putting inside the basket. And before I put anything inside their baskets, even before I put the grass, I like to unpackage all of the little gifts that they have. So I usually do this whenever I do any gift basket or like gift bag. And I just do this so that the kids don't have to worry about unpackaging. They, they can get straight to playing with their toys or their gifts right away. So of course I tried to be fair with the amount of gifts I got each child. Um, and I tried to get them kind of similar things. So for Milo and Jade, I got them some gardening stuff because they love to play outside and right now that the weather is warming up I've been taking them outside a lot more so uh, for Milo I got him a little gardening tool belt he can just use it as a normal tool belt and for Jade I got her an apron a little gardening apron and the first item that I unpackaged were the bubbles the next items I got the kids were these watering cans so that they can water the plants outside Everything that you guys see here I bought at Target, so this was kind of in the gardening seasonal section, and um, yeah, so the grass and stuff, there's certain things you can get at cheaper stores, but I just bought everything at Target. So the next gift was Jade's books and Milo's sport balls. There's also football included in this, but I actually gave each of my kids um, one of their gifts. So I gave Jade a book. She doesn't know I bought the whole collection yet. Um, so I gave her one book, and she's been reading it every day. And Milo, I gave him his football, so that kit included a football as well. So now I'm just putting the grass inside their baskets. I'm going to fill up Jade's first, and then I'm going to fill up Milo's. So I just kind of fluffed the grass. I could have fluffed this a lot more, I realized, once I was making Milo's. But, I mean, this will just work for now. Because you want the grass to peek through. You, I don't want the gifts to, like, just squish all the grass down. Because then there's no point for the grass to be there. I like it to peek through and kind of just surround the gifts. So all of the stuff that I'm putting inside their baskets are non-candy and non-snacks because I wanted to show you guys a way to not add candy. I know a lot of parents don't like to add candy or snacks to their kids' gifts or gift baskets. So I will, after the video, be adding um, eggs filled with candy or little snacks. But um, yeah, I mostly want to get snacks, not so much candy. Maybe like three eggs filled with candy. Target does sell eggs already filled with candies. Um, I bought Jade some Swedish fish and Milo some jelly beans, but I'm thinking of going back just to get him a few more eggs with candies, and that way you don't have to worry about filling them or anything. They're, they come packaged inside, so everything's wrapped and good to go. Now I'm working on Milo's Easter basket, so I'll just be doing the exact same thing, and after I fill up his Easter basket, I added a little bit of grass to both Jade's and Milo's just to fill it up some more. So once I got all the grass in, I just trimmed any excess grass that like was not squishing in just so it stays sticking out and it looks nice. And yeah, that's the finish. Oh, nope, just kidding. It's not the finished. I have one more gift for Jade because she is a little bit older. Um, I might get Milo something else. I'm not sure. But I bought Jade the Instax camera. And here I am just placing it in. I took it out of the box. And I'm going to place the little accessories on it. It just it comes with a little handle and a little like zoom lens. I also already placed batteries inside and it, the film inside as well so that it's ready for her to use. So once I'm done with the Instax camera, that's pretty much all I'm putting in their Easter baskets for now at least. And I just wanted to show you guys 
um, because it's so easy to make your child's own Easter basket. I feel like a lot of times I pay like $30 for an Easter basket or like maybe $20, maybe not 30. I'm exaggerating, but it's a bunch of stuff that they're going to end up throwing away. So I wanted to invest a little more money. It is a little bit more costly to customize it sometimes, not always, because you can do it from the Dollar Tree too. But um, yeah, I think it's worth it and I hope you guys enjoyed this video and give my video a thumbs up if you guys will be making your own Easter baskets as well. But yeah, I will see you guys in my next video and until next time, bye guys! Bye.